get right now to Steve Kappas. He's the executive producer of the CBS Evening News. And Steve, you live in Hoboken. You've used this station. What are your thoughts at this time? Well, Mary, I'm actually right across from the triage area here outside of the terminal and came down here shortly after the incident happened. Um, and I, you were just asking if the... Uh, Passengers are being uh, moved out of here, the people being, being medical treatment. I can tell you that there are still dozens of people here. Uh, they've had a triage system going on, everybody being assessed, the severity of the injuries being assessed. And, and what I'm seeing here is a wide range of injuries. Some people who uh, appear to be simply dazed, others whose clothing is bloodied. Uh, I've seen, I saw one guy with what appeared to be a broken leg uh, on the, this parking lot. Uh, but others who are more severely injured who are coming, being taken out on stretcher, uh, they're covered with thermal blankets. It's hard to tell the severity of their injuries, but it is absolutely an ongoing operation now to take care of the people uh, who have been injured. We did see, probably, I'd say, an estimate of about 50 people who were all working, walking under their own power. Uh, uh, they had been assessed. And then now they're just literally now being moved out to be seen, uh, I assume, at, at local hospitals. Um, but again, at this very moment, we're watching as somebody else is being removed uh, on a stretcher. Uh, and we're just a kind of a steady stream of emergency uh, personnel going in and out of that terminal. So it's absolutely an ongoing situation here. and, and uh, 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 just a devastating sight. Steve, just as you're speaking, we are seeing someone in a stretcher being placed into an ambulance. And just as you said, a number of people injured, a chaotic scene there, wide range of injuries. Steve, can you tell us in regard to the amount of people who are on stretchers sure, who I'm were sure. not able to get out on their own, is there a number <clears throat> that maybe that you have seen from the scene there? It, it's, it's hard to know. I, I, I've seen, we're also having there's a helicopter landing here uh, but the, the there are i've seen uh probably a dozen severely injured people on, on stretchers come out but uh i also wanted to frankly get out of the way and let people do their jobs so i've moved directly across the street where i'm watching the uh the uh situation of this what is you know it's a parking lot this is where people you know, commuters would be dropping off or uh, taxis might be gathering. You, you, you both know how busy this terminal is with thousands of people, something like 15,000 people coming through here yeah. on a normal commute. Uh, and it was would have been packed in the 8 o'clock hour. Um, so we're seeing uh, units from Hackensack, Jersey City, North Preston, Hoboken, Bayonne, Montague, uh, of course, the Port Authority police all here. Yeah, Steve, uh, it's, it's funny, you're, we're looking at uh, pictures above you right now. You know, this, this area reserved for buses only during the morning commute, but uh, now it's nothing but first responders, fire engines in this triage area. Steve Kappas, the executive producer of the CBS Evening News. Steve, thank you for taking a few moments with us. We do appreciate it. Okay, Chris, Mary, thank you. Steve, thank you so much.